Hello everyone, this is your German teacher Erhan Özdemir from Istanbul, Turkey. In this lesson, we are going to learn the modal verb können. Können stands for can. Okay. First of all, I want to begin the lesson with the conjugation of können. Let's have a look. Können, if I mention I, I'll say ich kann. Ich kann for I can. If I mention you for the second singular form, I will say du kannst. Du kannst, you can. Er for der or he, sie for she or the D article, is for it, but also das article. These are conjugated with kann. Okay, so I'll say er kann, sie kann, es kann in the same form, which is the third singular form. Here we have wir, wir stands for we, and is conjugated with wir können. The modal verb is in the infinitive form, so we'll say wir können. Ihr, ihr stands for a group of people. If it's uh, two or more people, two and more people, then I'll say uh, you, and is conjugated with Ihr könnt. Sie, here we have sie. I have mentioned this before. Sie is you, but in the polite form of saying you, sie, or sie, they, for können, is conjugated with können. Okay, so uh, let's repeat this again. Ich kann, ich kann, du kannst, du kannst. Er kann, er kann, sie kann, sie kann, es kann, es kann, wir können, wir können, ihr könnt, ihr könnt, sie können, sie können. Now take a look at the following examples. In the following examples, I will uh, have the sentence in a regular form, but then after in the second sentence, I'll put the können modal verb. As we have a uh, look in here in this sentence, ich spiele Gitarre, I play the guitar, Gitarre, die Gitarre, so the infinitive form of spielen is written this way. But if I conjugate this with, uh, with the ich form, I'll say ich spiele. So I play the guitar is ich spiele die Gitarre. I play the guitar, but also I can say I am playing the guitar. It refers to the same sentence, which stands for ich spiele Gitarre. What if I say I can play the guitar? For I can, I'll say ich kann. So I'll say Ich kann Gitarre spielen. As you see, spielen uh, is in the infinitive form is, and is put in the ending of the sentence, but the conjugation will take place in the können verb. So I'll say, ich kann Gitarre spielen. Okay? Here in the following sentence, we have, du schwimmst sehr gut. Schwimmen stands for swimming, okay? So, sehr gut, very good. You swim very good, then du schwimmst. I will conjugate this with du schwimmst, right? But in the infinitive form, that would be schwimmen. To swim would be schwimmen. So, du schwimmst sehr gut, you swim very good. What do I say when I want to say you can you can swim very good. Then I'll say, du kannst, okay? And I will conjugate können with du kannst. Sehr gut, schwimmen, in the infinitive form and in the ending. So the rule is, as I have a modal verb in a sentence, I conjugate it to the pronoun and then put the infinitive form, the verb, in the ending and this will become a modal verb sentence. So 
you can play, uh, swim very good. This will be as du kannst sehr gut schwimmen. Here we have sie reitet wunderbar. Reiten means to ride a horse, okay? Reiten, to ride a horse. So if I mention a motorcycle or anything else, I can't use reiten. This refers only to ride a horse, okay? So uh, sie reitet wunderbar. Who do I mention? Who could that be? Reitet. This is the third singular form. I mention a woman, okay? A female. So sie reitet. The infinitive form is reiten, to ride a horse, okay? Wonderful. She can ride a horse, wonderful. Sie, uh, excuse me, of course, there is no uh, can. So she can, she rides a horse, wonderful. Sie reitet wunderbar. So what do I say for can? She can ride a horse, wonderful. I will have a look at the, yeah. The conjugation which stands for sie kann. Okay, so I'll say sie kann wunderbar reiten in the infinitive form reiten. So I'll put this here. I don't conjugate, I put it in the infinitive form. I conjugate können, which is sie kann, and then put wunderbar reiten, and the sentence becomes sie kann wunderbar reiten. Ich spiele Gitarre. Ich spiele Gitarre. Ich kann Gitarre spielen. Ich kann Gitarre spielen. Du schwimmst sehr gut. Du schwimmst sehr gut. Du kannst sehr gut schwimmen. Du kannst sehr gut schwimmen. Sie reitet wunderbar. Sie reitet wunderbar. Sie kann wunderbar reiten. Sie kann wunderbar reiten. Let's continue with the following examples. Wir fahren Auto. Fahren stands for driving. Okay? So, Auto, das Auto, the car. I can put das article or not. Uh, if I mention a certain kind of car, then I could write das Auto. But here, if it's in a general uh, way of saying we drive a car, we will say wir fahren Auto. That's in general, okay? So, what do I do if I want to put können for wir? Wir will be conjugated as können. It remains the same. So, I'll say wir können Auto fahren. So, what happens is that we put the uh, uh, verb to the ending and it will remain the same, just like in the other pronouns, okay? So I'll say, wir können Auto fahren, we can drive a car, okay? We can drive a car in general, then this will be, wir können Auto fahren. In the following example, we have, ihr geht ins Kino, das Kino stands for the cinema, okay? To the cinema is ins Kino, okay? To the cinema, this stands for ins Kino in German. So if I mention a group of people, I say you go to the cinema, this will be done. Ihr geht ins Kino. Here you see the conjugation for ihr. Gehen will be conjugated as ihr geht. So if I want to uh, say you can go to the cinema, for the second uh, plural form, then this will be ihr könnt. So I'll put ihr könnt ins Kino gehen in the infinitive form again. Okay? So this is all, all in infinitive. The conjugation will take place only in the modal verbs, which stands in the second uh, place. And the infinitive always in the ending. This is very important. Okay? So if you say you can go to the cinema, this will be done. Ihr könnt ins Kino gehen. You can go to the cinema. Ihr könnt ins Kino gehen. Okay? Here we have in the last uh, example, Sie spielen Fußball. Fußball, 
football. Spielen means to play, okay? Sie spielen Fußball. It could be either the the polite way of say uh, the po polite way of saying you or they, okay? So uh, I need to look at at the uh, previous sentence uh, so that I can have a picture of who I mentioned, okay? So if I mentioned before somebody, a person then that would be Z, the polite way of saying. But if it's a group of people, then that would be Z again and the same conjugation as well. Okay, so you play football, this will be then Z spielen Fußball. Okay, but if I say you can play football, then this will be Z können. Okay, and therefore I'll say Z können Fußball spielen infinitive form and in the ending and the, in the second place in the second position will be the modal verb but conjugated okay so i'll say you can play football with sie können fußball spielen you can play football sie können fußball spielen wir fahren auto wir fahren Auto. Wir können Auto fahren. Wir können Auto fahren. Ihr geht ins Kino. Ihr geht ins Kino. Ihr könnt ins Kino gehen. Ihr könnt ins Kino gehen. Sie spielen Fußball. Sie spielen Fußball. Sie können Fußball spielen. Sie können Fußball spielen. In this video we have learned the modal verb können. I hope you enjoyed it. I want you to subscribe to our channel, leave comments, uh, share this video, this channel with those who want to learn German and hit the bell button for further more videos. I hope to see you again. Till then. Tschüss!